Welcome to another Tux Explorer troubleshoot with me. I'm a tiny potato, and I'm going to be trying to play Final Fantasy IX for the first time. According to Valve, Final Fantasy IX is unsupported on the Steam Deck. I tried to launch it just straight out of the box, and it seemed like it was taking a really long time, so I might just be impatient, but I went ahead and switched the compatibility tool to Proton and Experimental just to see if maybe it was hanging up for some reason and not launching. Okay, with forcing the use of Proton Experimental, it does seem like we've made it to the actual launch screen. I'm gonna go ahead and change the resolution to 1280 by 720, which is as close as we can get with this to the native Steam resolution, which is 1280 by 800. I'm gonna uncheck windowed just for the sake of it and hit play. Awesome. Okay, so we've we've entered into the beginning opening scene and some artwork. Definitely not the highest quality, but it seems like I honestly don't think Proton Experimental was even needed. I think Final Fantasy IX just runs on the Steam Deck. So um, maybe let's work on that unsupported label so that people actually play it since you literally like can't even see unsupported games unless you specifically look for them and enable their visibility in your library. <sighs> anyway, um, I just played for a little bit, kind of tried to get a feel for things. The controls were slightly off from what I would expect where B was the talk and accept thing. Um, but nothing, nothing too terrible for, for just launching it and not knowing what I was doing. It's definitely a lot more open world than I expected. I uh, have some pretty bad expectations of games this old because I don't have the nostalgia that most people have and I, I never played them. But it was actually quite nice. I enjoyed talking to all the different people and wandering around. But... While I was researching a little, I came across something called the Moguri mod, and it seems like this is something that everyone that's playing Final Fantasy IX really enjoys. So I thought I'd uh, give it a shot and install it. Seems like it's some deep learning fancy background texture stuff, but it really seems to like totally revitalize the whole game and actually make it beautiful. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a lot of good places to download it. I really didn't want to sign up for Nexus mods that I just, I don't want to sign up for things. And the free version required you to have like three megabits down, which is fine. Cause like, that's what I have anyway. Um, the other option was to download it from a sites.google.com site, which I'm assuming is Moguri mods actual official site. But when I tell you I am not downloading from someone that does not renew their domain, maybe you should buy a domain. Is that, is that too hard? I don't know. Um, so, okay, eh, maybe I'll just get it from here. <laughs> yeah, God, even that looks sus. Hmm. Oh, look at that. It's, it's $10. Maybe I should buy it. Hmm. Man, this seems cheap and convenient to have good branding and actually look trustworthy. Huh. All right. So, um, oh dear, it's a five gig download. And so I'm going to go do like a million other things with my life because this is going to take forever. Maybe, maybe I'll just buy it for 10 years. Maybe, maybe Moguri Mod is mine now. <laughs> Ooh, they do the uh, UI scaling, which is really nice. Especially if you're going to be playing on an external monitor. The battle UI took up, like, the whole page. <laughs> Basically. Um, seems like there's some install information. I'm not sure if there's going to be something else I'll need to do on the Steam Deck. Oh, that just took me back to the same thing I was already on on Steam. Let's see if there's anything helpful. 
So I think what I'm going to do to install this is follow these install instructions from a GitHub. I'll have it linked down below, but they, they went through the step-by-step -step instructions on how to install it on a Steam Deck, but that involved installing bottles through Flatpak and I just didn't want to. I, I have Final Fantasy IX on an SD card, so I feel like that might cause problems with Flatpak and I'm just trying to avoid flat pack as much as possible because I feel like it's just another layer of problems when I already have Wine and Pac-Man where I can install whatever I want. I understand that everything with Pac-Man will be cleared when I update, but that is, that is an annoyance I'm willing to take. Okay, I'm connected to the good internet. It's just terrible. Okay, I'll see you. See you in 10 years. Okay, so we have it downloaded. I won't tell you how long that took. It was a while. I'm just going to extract it straight into the downloads folder. I am blindly following some directions that I found online that I will have linked down below. I was going to try to install it through Wine, but again with the SD card thing and making sim links, I just, I'm not that comfortable in the console. So I'm going to try to just add it as a non-Steam game in my Steam client and um, pray. Okay, so we've got everything extracted. So I'm going to open up my Steam client in desktop mode. For some reason, it, it didn't want to open. So that's cool. Add a non-Steam game. And I'm just going to browse back to that downloads folder where I extracted everything and select the mogurimod.exe. You'll have to change it to all files so that it's actually visible, and I'll select, select the exe. Now, if we go to our library, we should be able to find... Oh, I didn't actually add it. I don't know what happened there. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to add game and like actually confirm adding the game because life is hard. There, so now it's there, and now I can add selected programs, and it showed up immediately, Muggery Mod. If you want to customize this so it looks slightly less trash, that'd be great. Um, and then I am going to run it with Proton. They say to use the latest stable version of Proton, but I'm just going to do Proton Experimental because I refuse to follow directions, apparently, and hit play. And then sit. Hey, something's happening. Okay, cool. Moguri Mod Setup Wizard. So I'm going to hit next. And now instead of in the C drive, I want to install it where my Final Fantasy files are actually stored. So I'm going to need to go into Dolphin and track down my Final Fantasy files on the SD card and then get that path and paste it in here. Unfortunately, the keyboard started massively messing with me and refused to type. Even if I brought up the on-screen keyboard, it wouldn't type. Like, I would press a key and it would stop. It. I could do one key at a time if I pressed it five times. There you go. Run media MMC BLK 0P1 is where it's mounted, and then the rest of the file path is Steam Apps, Common, and then the Final Fantasy 9. I'm just going to skip to where it actually works because I fought with this for a century <laughs> trying to, <laughs> oh man, trying to actually select it and type. It refused. Uh, I don't know what was going on, but Thus are the struggles of not just typing it in Wine and having it go immediately and already having everything set up. Ta-da! I did it! It took five minutes to figure out how to type. I don't... Uh, it's not okay. Okay, so now we are actually installing Moguri Mods and it's going to create folders and extract all of that stuff. It's like 11 gigs of beautiful, beautiful textures into our Final Fantasy IX install folder. Um, unfortunately, at this point, my mouse would not click. You can see it moving, but I couldn't, I couldn't click on anything. Uh, so that was frustrating. So I walked away again and just hoped that 
Moguri mod would do its thing and install, which thank God it did eventually finish. Oh man. Okay, so literally 20 minutes later. I think this is the thing that puts people off stuff like this, is you're just not sure if the problems you're experiencing are okay or not. Because I would never let it just recycle for 20 minutes. But I did. For you. I did this for you. No. Um, okay, so I just hit finish, and I've got the um, dolphin open and you can see that everything extracted into the Final Fantasy 9 folder. So now we get to actually launch back into handheld mode and see what happens. Okay, so we're back in handheld mode and I'm going to open up Final Fantasy 9 and I'm going to go ahead and change the compatibility tool to just use steams whatever they decided instead of proton experimental just because i i want to see if that was necessary or not i think i was just being impatient we should have the moguri mod launcher come up first when this yeah there it is cool okay so we've got you can have widescreen so you get rid of those black bars on the side 100 percent steal rate very very cool and you can choose your active monitor which is nice this is, this is really sweet. Okay, I'm not going to mess with anything just because I want to make sure that it works and that I installed it correctly. And also, I probably need to restart it and make sure that it works every time. I know some people have had problems with some settings not staying if their prefixes aren't right. And Lord knows, I have no idea what I'm doing. So I am going to just start a whole new game because I didn't even make it to a save point last time. <laughs> I'm really lazy, okay? Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip them. Oh my god, I'm the worst. Sure is, bud. And so it seems like Moguri Mod automatically gave me a different controller layout. The buttons are now a little more intuitive to what I would expect, um, which is not a whole lot because I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's a difference. That, that is a difference. Let me, I'm going to split screen a little bit so you can see side by side, but that already is ridiculous. So here's an attempt at a side-by-side. -side. Um, there's, there's a pretty big difference there. Uh, it, it shows a lot better when you've got more buildings and you're seeing the fronts or in, inside shops especially. But already just the clarity of it is insane. Yeah, there's a good side by side. Just the the roofs of the buildings and the details on the doors and the windows, all the stuff hanging. That is that is pretty substantial. That's beautiful, actually. That's really pretty. My timing is terrible, sorry. Anyway, here we are in the little town square. I uh want to go see this play, apparently. I'm just going to go around and talk to some people. Yeah, okay. So the time it took to figure out this mod was definitely wor worth it. I had a couple stumbles yesterday where I tried to install it with Wine and things were just going weird. I have a 64 gig Steam Deck and this mod is 11 gigs and... I really cannot spare that kind of space, so I had to do the install on the SD card, and that was a little bit of a pain point. But I think it was worth it. It definitely, definitely looks a lot better. I'm also really starting to understand why everyone I know is so good at video games, because they grew up doing stuff like this. Also, thank you to the Moguri mod for remapping the controls so that... I think I was actually pressing the right buttons <laughs> instead of trying to uh, figure out what was going on. Actually, no, I guess they were correct in the first place. I'm just dumb. 
Like, the, the buttons lined up, but what I expected them to do was wrong, because I have very limited experience and my brain makes leaps. But I did actually, I, I think I did pretty well at this. For me. Not too shabby. Even the queen was impressed. No, I'm not doing that again. I would never 100% that. But I'm, I'm pretty pleased. That was, that was pretty good. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Did they sneak some cupcakes to Crab and Goyle? Oh no. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm having a lot of fun with this now. The little cute little characters that you save with the Moogles are adorable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep playing. If I come across any other bugs or anything, I will certainly update with another troubleshooting video. But in the meantime, Give this video a like if it was helpful, and subscribe to this channel for more wonderful Steam Deck content.